Hey, welcome back to my kitchen and my home. Today we are talking about two things very near and dear to my heart, and that is food and hormones. More specifically, we're gonna be talking about blood sugar and how it impacts our hormones, and then we're gonna be sharing four healthy blood sugar balancing smoothies. Inflammation and blood sugar dysregulation are at the root cause of PCOS, which is what I have. And not to get too sciencey, but basically if you're eating a diet that's high in sugar or your blood sugar is too high, what's gonna happen is you can get something called insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is basically when your body has insulin and insulin's knocking on the door of your cells to let them in and your cells are like, no thanks, not letting you in. So then your body creates more insulin because it thinks it needs it. What ends up happening is you end up with excess insulin in your bloodstream. So how does this affect your hormones? Excess insulin creates inflammation and it also can cause weight gain. Your ovaries become bombarded with insulin and then that creates excess androgens like testosterone. And then the last thing is your blood sugar can affect your adrenals and your stress. So your adrenals are responsible for kind of keeping your stress level. And if your blood sugar is going up and down crazy all day, your adrenals are going to release cortisol to try to maintain it in balance. So that's why if you're having blood sugar surges and crashes all day, it's actually a form of stress in your body. Needless to say for your hormones, balancing your blood sugar is super important. It's gonna keep everything really level, but it's also gonna make you feel really good. One of the ways I get my day started to balance my blood sugar is drinking a smoothie, and today I'm gonna show you all the components to that, and then I'm gonna show you four recipes for balancing your blood sugar. I follow the Fab Four formula from Be Well by Kelly. I learned it in this Body Love book, and it is amazing and I swear by these smoothies every single morning. Kelly Levesque's formula for the Fab Four includes protein, fat, fiber, and greens. So I try to get all four of those things in my smoothies. First, let's talk about the protein. My favorite protein powder is actually by Be Well by Kelly. She has a vanilla and a chocolate and they are amazing. We also have the Arbonne protein, which is pretty good. And then here is a raw organic vegan protein that's really good. For fats, my favorite things to include in smoothies are nut butters, avocado oil, coconut oil, MCT oil, walnuts, and coconut cream. For greens, we stick to spinach and kale. And then for fiber, you have a few options. You can use raw fiber powder, chia seeds, flax seeds, or avocados have 10 grams of fiber, so that's a really great option. And because smoothies are so versatile, they make it a great vehicle to add in extra supplements, super seeds, vitamins, and all of those kinds of things. So we're gonna put those ingredients to use and bust out the Vitamix. We're gonna get started with a mint chocolate chip smoothie. You're gonna add one cup of spinach and one almond milk to the blender. Blend that up until your greens are really smooth and liquefied. Then you're gonna add a half of an avocado, one scoop of vanilla protein, mint leaves, cocoa nibs, and a third a cup of cauliflower rice. Blend that up until it's smooth and creamy. You may need to add just a little bit of ice if you want your sticker. The next recipe is a peanut butter and jelly smoothie. You're gonna get started the same way with a cup of spinach and a cup of almond milk. Blend that up, then you're gonna add two tablespoons of peanut butter, a third of a cup of frozen strawberries, one to two tablespoons of chia seeds and one scoop of vanilla protein. Blend that up, and again, if you need to add ice, you can. If not, you can leave it as is. The third recipe is a blueberry muffin smoothie. Same thing, almond milk and spinach blended together, and then we're gonna add a dash of cinnamon, a scoop of vanilla protein, two tablespoons of nut butter, and then a third a cup of frozen blueberries. Give that a whirl, add some ice cubes if you need it, and then pour it in the glass and enjoy. The last smoothie we're making today is a pumpkin pie smoothie. This one is amazing for fall. So this one actually doesn't have any greens in it, but we are using cauliflower. You can add a little bit of spinach if you want, but we're gonna start with the cauliflower rice and the almond milk. Then you're gonna add two tablespoons of nut butter, a dash of cinnamon, a mini dash of nutmeg, and then you're gonna add a third of a cup of pumpkin puree and one to two tablespoons of flax seeds. Blend that all together, add a little ice, and you're good to go. The last thing I want to touch on is prepping your smoothies. You can absolutely make all of them every morning, but there are two ways that I like to prep smoothies. One of them is making the whole smoothie start to finish and then pouring them into ice cube trays, freezing them, and then when you're ready, all you have to do is pop the ice cubes into the blender with a little bit more milk and you have your smoothie. The second way is putting all of the ingredients in a reusable 
bag like this one and then you just dump them all into the blender with your almond milk when you're ready to eat it. All right, I have to try one of these. I'm going for the pumpkin. That is so good. Cheers to our health and your happy hormones. And if you wanna keep hanging out with me, check out these healthy dinners. And if you wanna learn more about PCOS and hormones, check out this playlist.